Hey guys, so I decided to make a whole compressed video of all my add-on tutorials to help you guys with all the glitches and all the problems for Minecraft and how to install them safely. And this is all from previous videos just compiled into one list. These are the table of contents. Check in the description for the timestamps and I really hope that you guys keep sending and sharing this video so that you don't have to go searching on how to fix these. I just want to help you all, so come back to this video whenever you need to. Hello everyone! Today I will be giving you a video on how to download any add-on map or texture pack through a back page. I realize a lot of you guys have been confused about this and I would love to give you some helpful information. A few common questions that I get all the time would be, what is a back page? Basically, a back page is a site that runs ads through links and shortens them. This is a common source of revenue for add-on creators since they do not gain profit from making these add-ons for free. If they were to be paid, then they would put them on the marketplace. Will this give me a virus? The answer for iOS would be no. We have a built-in firewall system which prevents viruses from leaking through. The only way to gain a virus would be from jailbreaking. However, common Android systems are unprotected, so you would be susceptible to gaining a virus or some sort of malware that could leak through your system. I would advise you all to download an ad blocker or if you want to stay safe, just don't download these at all. Today I will be showing the most common used back pages which would be Linkedverse and AdFly. As an example, let's use the Fernacraft add-on, which is heavily popular in the community. As you scroll down, you'll find the download links which can lead you to several different sites. The first one being a Linkedverse ad site, which is really confusing for a lot of you and I understand because at first I was a bit confused too. But all you have to do is basically scroll through these sites and click as you go, and the instructions are always there. Press the free access with ads button, which should lead you to two steps that you have to take before going to the add-on. Click the first step, which is usually discover an ad. You have to wait till the timer is off to complete this task. I would heavily recommend you guys do not click any other buttons even if you're kind of confused just stay on the top two and you should be fine because there are a lot of ads on this site and you don't want to get jumbled up with a lot of tabs and everything and it can be annoying. Another step could be download an ad for 30 seconds and then open it and then you can go back in and then download the add-on. However, I find this to be quite unsafe but luckily for us, the creator has given us another solution. Another commonly used back page is AdFly. This is one of the safest back pages and it's pretty quick. All you have to do is wait 5 seconds, click a few buttons to move on with the steps, and then you should be at your link. Usually the creator uses a Mediafire link or a Dropbox. I'm not familiar with the other links, but if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Again, please don't feel scared, just remember to practice safety. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Simply Pre, and I'm here with the two minute tutorial to help you download your add ons on iOS. You will need two apps in order to do this Documents and Files app. You can download this or it should be installed on your phone. I will be teaching you how to download MicPacks and zip files. So, first, let's start with MicPacks. Find the add on that you want. I'm going to download the Hug Only add on by Vivlo Studios. Next, you're going to click the link of the add-on that you want. Make sure that you copy the link and post it in your mobile browser. If you do it in YouTube, it won't download and it won't work. Next, when you send it to your mobile browser, you're going to go through the steps with AdFly. All you have to do is wait a few seconds and then skip to the link to download the add-on. I've already made this tutorial before, but here's a nice speed through. Now here's where the trouble starts. Before with iOS 11 or 12, you could just download and go straight to Minecraft. 
But now there's a few other steps. You see this little button here? You have to click that and then it sends you to the files app. This is why it comes in handy. Once that happens with MicPack, all you have to do is click it and then it instantly sends you to Minecraft. Now, zip file is a bit different. Once you find an add-on that requires you to open a zip file, here's a few easy things that you need to do. Repeat the same steps that you did for MicPack, but instead for this part, we're going to open it in Documents. So remember to play close attention. Once you're in the Files app, you're going to press Share and you're going to make sure that you share it to Documents app. It's going to open the file and then you're going to compress everything together. If you need the steps in order, just look in the description for more. This is super easy and super simple once you get the hang of it. Select everything and then press Compress. Once you do that, you can rename the archive file to whatever you want. Just make sure that you put .micpack behind it. It has to do that in order to recognize the file and open it in Minecraft. And then once you do that, you're done. So a lot of us have been having the same issue when we go to download our add-on or mic pack or shader and we open it in Minecraft and then there's this valid or not valid zip file archive thing that shows up and I'm here to help you fix it. First, you're going to open that file into documents. This is where we're going to revert it to a zip file and then open it and convert it all into a mic pack. Rename the file to .zip. Open the file and you should see all its assets. Now I'm going to show you what we usually do which is wrong. This is the wrong way to convert a file that is invalid. Usually we just select everything that we see and then convert it to a mic pack, but for this you have to do it individually or you'll still see the same thing show up in your Minecraft. As you can see, compressing both the files together does not work and will give you a fill to import notice. So what we do differently is we're going to do them individually. Do the both resource and behavior packs separately, but the same way. Select a folder and then include .micpack. All you have to do is rename the file just as we did in the beginning, but this is the correct way. How easy that was? Now we're gonna do the same thing for the behavior pack. Remember, compress, then rename. Feel free to rewatch the video anytime if you miss some steps. It's super easy, and I hope that this helped you all. Bye! The site that I prefer to get PC texture and resources from is the Planet Minecraft site. A lot of creators use it and upload their creations there. So that is what I choose to use, but you can really get it from anywhere that has a resource pack available. 
As an example, I'm going to be downloading the Creamy Wings resource pack. All you have to do is press the download texture pack button. Once you do that, on the top right corner, you should have your downloads list in there. Press that, and then you should have all your files. Once you do that, share that exact file to the Documents app. The Documents app is how I port everything and do everything manually, but this is a simpler way. Next, you're just going to click that file that you sent into Documents into the Add-ons app. Make sure that the resource pack you're converting is a zip file so that it can be properly extracted in the add-ons app. Once it's in the add-ons app and it's finished extracting, you're going to press import. Then you can go to your studio and access all the add-ons and texture packs that you've downloaded. Once you're done, you can copy it straight to Minecraft. So if any of these tutorials did not help you with your issue, please remember to check the manifest file and make sure that it's up to date. Also, always open the zip file and make sure that everything that is needed, like the dependencies, are in there. If none of that works and all else fails, comment down below and maybe someone will come and help you. Again, this is all based on common knowledge, so if you cannot figure out how to do it, then you might just want to give up.